guys. As you can tell, I have a sh fucking smorgasbord of food here. And I'm so excited because I could finally have a bunch of fruit back. I know I promised you guys a post-show cheat day. Uh, my tan is completely fucked. But we are still very fucking lean. I'm gonna wait to do the post-show cheat day until I'm mentally and physically in a better place for my body to do that. So I do promise you guys a cheat day. But today we're gonna go hit legs with Mantello, kick it with Mantello a little bit, give you guys kind of like a day in the life vlog uh, post-show. I've been dealing with a lot of negative hate comments and stuff. I know I get so much love and I know I get so much support, but a lot of people think that social media content creators, I hate the word influencer. I never wanna be called an influencer. I don't wanna influence you guys to do things you don't wanna do. I wanna motivate and inspire you guys and no matter how fucking genuine I feel like I am people just think I have no fucking feelings and they can just stab me so post show mentally I've been all over the fucking place and very emotional it's not a good time to drown my feelings in food post show TJ is coming as always like comment subscribe follow your boy on Instagram first hundred comments are always entered into some sort of giveaway I think this video I'm gonna give away a hundred dollar gift card to Anaka I do have the new show day tees in two colorways, also cream, so I'll give away one of these as well. So two giveaways in this video. It would mean the world to me if you guys grab one, jackthetallion.com, and grab one of the other show day tees as well. You bundle them together, you save some money. But we're gonna cook up. I have six, 55 grams of cream of rice on my scale. Actually, I don't even know why I'm scaling it out now. Look at this shit, bro. Perfect consistency. Mix it up. It's like a cake, peanut butter protein in there. Then we got banana, blueberries, strawberries, the fucking, the work. This shit has been what I'm dreaming of. Then we're gonna get our honey. We do almond butter first. Zero it out. Mix it up. Drizzle. 18 grams of almond butter. Then we're gonna just save some for later. Then we have honey. How many grams is that? 10? 10 grams of honey is chill. Then we have one vanilla. Oh, dude, those guys fucking come on my lip. Yeah. I feel like Sam after we go to Starbucks. Look at the fucking yogurt, bro. Haven't had that in a minute. I'm just gonna put... Some on the side to pick from. This is our pre-workout meal. Crack some salt. One crack, two crack, three crack. 10 grams of glutamine. Cannot recommend these three supplements enough. And they're like the cheapest ones on the fucking website. Glutamine is like $17 for like probably more than a month's serving. Digest aid I think is like $20 for way more than a month serving. I take one of these at every meal. And then every meal that has a lot of carbs, I take two glucose pills. Code Italian on Revive. I'm gonna put you guys on. Almond milk, Califia Farms, 40 calories. A little bit higher than cashew milk. The flavor though is like, the flavor is like contrasting dog shit and actually good shit. You Mix it in with your coffee, tastes absolutely immaculate. This way you don't have to add any like Truvia or anything. Let me give you guys a little taste test of it all. Bro, fruit man. It's crazy what fruit will do to you post show. But like I said, I feel like it's more important for me to document my reverse properly for you guys than drown my emotions in food. So I'm gonna grub this shit up and I'll see you guys at Mantello's crib. Go into the candy floor. Guys, I'm sad, I opened my trunk. Sam's leaving me. Sam's leaving tonight, unfortunately. I fly to Dallas on Thursday, so I don't get to see Sam until I get home to Houston on like Saturday. But we got the Jack Italian pump. Look at that, filled to the fucking brim. And the scooper's on top. You guys will never get gypped, ever. Good amount of that pump in there. Code Italian, support your boy directly on the Jack Italian pre-workout. We're gonna mix flavors today with the pre. There we go. Perfectly balanced, great formula, immaculate pricing. That's uh, how I sold my pre-workout, and if I had a daughter, how I'd sell her. Great formula, immaculate, um, great pricing by my daughter, because I don't want one. The last thing I'd ever want is a daughter. If you're a girl, don't take that the wrong way. It's purely for one reason. I know how men think, I know how men act. If a dude were to act towards my daughter and do the acts that I have performed, I'd probably, I would not be able to sleep at night. My daughter would not be able to sleep at night because she'd be dead, and the guy would not be able to sleep at night because his balls would be taxidermied above my fireplace. Like when people kill a deer and they have a trophy, it would be the kid's testicles. So we're gonna mix up our pre-workout. You guys can grab some, use code Italian. We're at Ant's house, let's try not to leak his address, and uh, I'll see y'all in a little bit. Let's see. Like post show, I uh, we cut the cameras at post show, and then I just 
went to town on the beef tenderloins that I made, that I had brought. Uh, I made like locale wraps. So I made like, uh, one had bacon, like a couple slices of bacon with an egg, some tenderloin and then like tzatziki and guac. I had one wrap like that, and then one wrap that was just tzatziki, guac, and steak. Maybe like 10 Doritos, because Kyle came over and killed the rest of the bag. <laughs> I tried to have Takis, but the morning of the show, I had coffee and I burnt the fuck out of my tongue. And the yeah. salt like scraped my mouth. So the Takis were painful to eat. I had like six and I was like, I can't do this. Like your pump up food? No, okay, purple back say that's gross. Yeah, I got purple back burritos too. Yeah. Um, did you compete in finals? Did you wait till finals? No. Okay. <laughs> I didn't. I went home. And I was, it was like five o'clock, so I was yeah. like, I got bro. Pre judging started at nine. No, I, I didn't get off stage until like five. I had the same thing last year. I, was like, I competed fuck that. Uh, yesterday last year. Yeah. When um, are you gonna compete? Do you do university again next year or no? Two years from now? Different show. Different show. Yeah. Fuck you, universe, bro. <laughs> Universe. No, I'm just, um, the plan is, I gotta, I gotta re-qualify because I lost my national qualifications, I can compete this year. I'm gonna re-qualify next year, I gotta do a show in April, first national show, hopefully get it there, that's the goal, not just like a pro card, I want an overall show. Yeah. And if not, fuck, um, got the rest of the shows. And then if you get your pro card, what's the plan from there? Because I know a lot of people take like a three year off season or yeah. two year. I mean, we'll see, it all depends what the judges say and stuff, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I'm not there yet, you know? But I'm not, like, I'm not in a rush to compete. Yeah, I'm not in a rush to compete either, bro. I was 186 pounds on stage, uh -huh. and I'm, I'm, bro, I'm 6'1". Like, yeah. it's gonna take time to fill my frame. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, Kyle sent me my reverse plan today. I'm gonna start following it tomorrow. You wanna give me tips? Yeah. All right. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I would say I've been in this rodeo a little bit, right? Yeah. Um, the best thing I would tell you is follow, the, follow your meal plans, right? Because mm -hmm. like, from what I've just heard with your past meals, like you were, how many meals did you eat yesterday? Uh, three. All right. Tomorrow but I wasn't like, hungry. Like, fair, 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 fair. Starting tomorrow, right? I'm on Kyle's plan. Go on Kyle's plan, and I'll be honest, when I look at the plan, like, I want to die after a show. You see egg whites and stuff? Oh, no, like, I look good. I, I like my plan. But right. I asked him to add fruit. I haven't had fruit in so long that, like, it's, like, horny. I'm horny to see, like, bananas. <laughs> Why? You, you forget, bro. Like, you eat a lot of food when you're dieting still. Yeah. I was having, like, fucking, like, 1,000 calorie days, like, 800 calorie rest days mm -hmm. of just, like, Straight protein and, and asparagus. Yeah. Like, I was eating egg whites for two meals, turkey for two meals, mm. one beef meal, and, like, only some of those meals had asparagus. So, like, when I you see also anything do, listen, Kyle, Kyle told me some shit. Oh, you no. You also do some fuck shit. Your whole, you ate a fuck ton of, like, so many greens, a bunch of cucumber. Yeah. And one packet of stevia per fucking cube. cube. No, not anymore. Not well, anymore. You did, though. For, like, like, for a couple weeks. <laughs> pa like, but then, but then Kyle was like, bro, what the fuck? Yeah. I didn't realize. I didn't know. I've never done that before. <laughs> nah, dude, honestly, like, the plan that Kyle sent me today, like, looks... I see it. I'm curious yeah, here, what the sure. plan looks like. <laughs> but that's a normal day, and then there's the rest days. But yeah. the way Kyle has my plans, especially when you're dieting, is, like, Saturday is, like, your high day. Your training days are moderate days, and then your rest days are lower while I'm, like, dieting and then reversing. And then when I get to a point where my body's, like, maintaining and able to grow, pretty much every day is going to be the same. And then I'll have, like, free meals thrown in. But it's really important after the show, especially, to not just ramp your calories up, because when you diet, you get metabolic damage which means your metabolism kind of slows down and adapts it's which kind of got offset it honestly it looks really good yeah it looks great yeah you, I mean, <laughs> yeah considering meal, you're meal eating, two is awful like that would turn me off into, into uh, meal two is 165 grams of lean protein so chicken or or lean ground turkey or egg whites and almond butter. 20 grams of almond butter and seven to ten asparagus spirits. yeah but i've been doing that for the past four months so for me it doesn't matter yeah that's good though if you, if you have that mentality post show to wanting to do that still great yeah. Because most people struggle with that. So that's well, cool. bro, 165 grams of a lean protein is also a protein powder thing. So I can just ask him, yo, you cool if I add eight ounces of cashew milk, ice, almond butter, and a scoop of protein, and then just eat the asparagus on the side with some mustard. I get a protein shake, you know, like a big ass fucking protein shake. All right, so now we're reversing, right? <laughs> yeah, give me your advice. It seems like you'll be on plan to not blow up, which is good, but you can really grow in this time period. Yeah. You know that? So what I would suggest for you is the closest you could follow to a meal plan. I was gonna put this in my own YouTube video when I fucking start recording again. I'm so happy you're recording again. Yeah, um, but I, had, I sent Kyle a quote yesterday because I was, I do this when I pretend, when, I, when, I, when I'm gonna make a YouTube video, I'll talk like I'm talking to the camera, but there's no camera involved. We just need to get Ant a full-time camera. Just like full-time, well, we need Sam, bro. We need three of Sam. Two for, got, two for me. Got Grant. You got I have Grant. a buddy coming in two weeks. Yeah, I know, I'm happy. Um, here's the quote. Eating for gains is easy. People just want to be lazy. That's truthful. So if you follow that diet plan, it's such simple foods. But when you start adding in other shit, like cashew milk, different things with more ingredients, that's when your digestive system takes a toll because it's harder to process that stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So the simplest, less ingredient foods 
is what will be best for your body in this period because you're so, so sensitive. Yeah. That's what I did post show. I did eat a lot of food, but I ate very simple three three ingredient foods. I remember I did that one, I did it one day when I was like, I was pounding food reverse growing, and then I just felt my stomach literally like not, and oh, I felt shit. awful. Sure, it tastes sweet, you might like it, but if you wanna grow and you actually wanna like, you know, grow in this time period, you stick away from it. Yeah. G Hughes, bro, fuck you, dude. Get the fuck out of my fridge. So you know how in prep, when you get like super lean, you could feel the food, like the carbs you eat, and you're like, holy shit. Yeah. So. That can still happen with your diet, which obviously is really good. You're very insulin sensitive. And then on top of that, with your training, you ever like notice in prep too, like your muscles maybe feel better on like a refeed day, which is gonna be- Yeah, 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 yeah. crazy days. So that's good. Think about that happening now throughout the reverse because you have more food, right? So really try to like be in tune with your body with training. That's what Allie did really, really, really good after her show. She like experimented with different things, like my muscle connection, trained slow, and then taking what you found out from that reverse and like that time period of like, Experimental things and then putting that in your off season will help a shit ton. That's why I bro, that's why I want to train with you because I was like and I even said like don't expect me to be some fucking funny jokester in the gym, man. That's why we're chatting now. In the gym we locked in, man. You know? And trains hard as fuck, and I'm ready to fucking for some reason, every single time that I record for YouTube now, it's a leg day. Like I'm gonna turn into a fucking me, leg chip. Me and you've hit legs more than any other body part than anything. Bro, we, we we're training chest tomorrow. Do you need pre workout? Look at that shit, bro. They're lean. They're lean. They're skinny, but they're lean. We, you could really let me see your legs again. You're a tall guy, right? Yes. You're six one. Yeah. So if you look at his legs, he flexes them. You don't have any adductor whatsoever. Yeah, this shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's just straight. So you grew your adductors. You stay under quads. Your hamstrings are, aren't actually bad at all. No, yeah. People say all the time that my hamstrings. Your yeah, hamstrings are good, and you keep working on your hamstrings. So be. Yeah. The very legs a lot, but definitely. And then this. This is like the girl pose, right? This glue's right for the camera. I <laughs> did. Yeah. All right. You gotta show me the RA if you. Bro, Ant's apartment's really nice. Makes me think maybe I should move back to New Jersey. The only thing that keeps me in Texas, Anaka, Sam, Alpha Land, because it's great for content. But like, guys, I'm so lonely there. Like, I genuinely like. I can't wait to travel and do meetups and get to meet you guys. I'm, I'm actually genuinely really happy to be off prep because I can finally like give back in other ways, like not just through content, but like being able to meet you guys and give out clothes and like I want to do a thing with Rise Fuel because as you guys know. I'm sponsored by Rise Fuel. I want to have them sponsor an event where I go and I like give Rise Fuel out to people. So like we go to the gyms and we pass them all out. Like I want to find like ways to get back to you guys. So if you guys have any ideas for things that you guys want, um, don't fucking say cards and shit. I'm not made of money. But if you guys have any ideas for like give backs and shit that you guys want, let me know. Let them know. Let them know. Bro. I'm fucking, I'm gonna start up mommy and daddy's R8 right now. I literally can fucking feel in my that color car. start in my chest, bro. No wonder why he bought that shit. All right, guys, mommy and daddy's car. Let's see if it bangs. Let's see if it bangs the way Lizzo does for me. Probably not, but I think this shit, shit will. <laughs> All right, that was 70. What? Oh, that's a nice M4, man. It's just like mine, but it ain't got that kiss. That kiss me, baby. Here for legs. I gotta take a tinkle. Pre workout rice crispy. Haven't had one of these in a minute. That thing looks insane. Yeah, it's alright. Um, we're gonna. I like the foam roll first. So okay. we we'll let digest the foam roll. But I'm gonna go pee. I'll meet you over here. Bro, I'm gassy. I'm gonna get another rice crispy treat. Another? Yeah. It's, it's, uh, intro workout. On my sub stage, there's two things of carbs. So I'm supposed to either have a Gatorade or two rice krispies. I forgot. <laughs> First, and said, "What the, what the fuck?" Standing calves? Yeah, some guys on it. Maybe that's not the best. Cool. There you go.
it obviously nice and wide, right? And what I would suggest is not having your feet down there. I like to push it with my hands, and then I start squeezing my adductors here. Okay. And then, basically, you let it stretch out. Watch your So, and then when you go in, you're squeezing your adductors and like your butt a little bit, and you're kind of like pushing back. I, like, I was trying to squeeze my asshole, my hamstrings tight. I felt like I was groundhogging. Groundhogging? Yeah, like when the shit's about to come out. Ali said literally squeeze your butthole. Yeah. So you're like, I gave it a shot, but it feels good. Not squeezing my butthole. Pause, pause. disintegrated throughout prep. It's gonna give me a fatty, bro. Honestly guys, I think my eating disorder has been cured though. My cravings are at an all time low. I'm not craving anything. I opened this, I don't know if it's just that it's not good or what, but I have to drive Sam to the airport, but I also have to get my protein in. So I was like, I'm gonna get a, a little protein bar and a Fairlife, like 42 grams of protein. So the quick low 60 grams post-workout. I took a bite. I just let this shit sit for like five minutes. I didn't even feel the need to inhale it, but I did inhale my diet root beer. I'm driving, I'm trying not to die. 
<laughs> I'm not hungry, which is weird. Like I'm gonna go home and just have straight protein because there's carbs in here. I learned my lesson from my first prep, which is weird to say first prep because it was a month ago, but I saw how quickly I could like balloon up and I'm excited to start Kyle's new reverse plan tomorrow. See how I feel training, see how I feel pushing my body and growing. I'm excited for what's to come. I have a, a lean bulking series that once my metabolism is fixed and we're in a good spot to like really push and grow. I think Kyle said it's about eight weeks. We're gonna start a lean bulking series. I'm not gonna tell you guys the name yet, but just know it's a good one. And I hope you guys are like really ready for me to document that because this off season, as I was saying, it sounds so weird to say this like off season, but that's what it is. I wanna compete again, maybe in a year, maybe in 16 months. It depends on how long it takes for me to really grow and get to the desired like weight and look that I wanna have before I cut down again. But my goal is to be 205 on stage next time I step on stage. So your boy's looking forward to it. I love you guys for the support. Thank you guys for all the messages that you guys were sending me on Instagram and Snapchat. They really helped pull me out of a really bad, dark place yesterday. I'm excited to document this reverse, start my lean bulking series. 100,000 subscribers soon. Thank you guys for 75K. I'll see you guys. <coughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was a lethal burp when I get back to Houston. But what I will say is, bro, these fair lifes are pretty gas. This Bear Bell cookies and cream, pretty fucking mid. Like six and a half. I think it would be nice to me for have a, a couple days break. Nice for Sam to have a couple days break from just filming. This does consume our lives, although I love every single second of it. Sometimes it becomes very overwhelming and it's hard to detach. Just a reminder, I am also a human being. I love you guys and uh, I'll see y'all in the next video.